Winter Park is known for its beautiful homes, restaurants, and shops, but the city has a lot of natural gems <laughs> as well. Yeah, here's one example. Take a look. Lake Rose is near the intersection of Fairbanks Avenue and Denning Drive, which is a few blocks west of Park Avenue. Fox 35 Stephanie Belfamonte is looking into how this lake formed. 41 years ago, this lake was a massive sinkhole right in the middle of Winter Park. Tonight, we are learning about the local family who devoted their lives and used this natural disaster to make a breakthrough in understanding sinkholes. Breaking news back in May of 1981. On the front page of the then Sentinel Star, a massive sinkhole in Winter Park. We're standing right here. Layla Jamal showed me what the Winter Park sinkhole looked like when it gobbled up part of an Olympic sized swimming pool, part of a luxury car dealership, and May Rose Williams' three bedroom home. That's why it's now called Lake Rose. She heard a big swoosh late Friday night early into the morning and um, went out of her went out of her home to see what it was saw her home settling in and then that's when everything kind of uh, over like a 48 hour period when everything collapsed into the sinkhole. Layla and her family were at Mother's Day brunch downtown when it happened 40 years ago. My father got a call from the mayor saying that he needed to meet him immediately at this location. It was scary. Everybody was kind of afraid to walk over here, but we did. Her father, Jim Jamal, an engineer known as the sinkhole guy, was hired by the city to study it. In his research, her father made a breakthrough in understanding the natural phenomenon. There had been a thought that um, dryness causes sinkholes, and they realized that, in fact, it was the, it was the rainfall after a dry period that became more of a catalyst and a trigger. Florida is no stranger to sinkholes, but they normally occur in rural areas or where there's a lot of irrigation. But they can happen in cities too, just not usually to this scale. Usually they're very small and localized and you can come in and fill them, stabilize it and you move on. Um, in this case, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you really have no way of knowing until it's finished. Layla says it's not likely to see something like this again in Winter Park and says some people probably don't even know that this lake was once a sinkhole as it's surrounded by busy shops and restaurants. They just say, hey, we've got lakefront property. They don't, they might not realize 40 years ago <laughs> what this looked like. Layla went to UCF, became an engineer herself studying sinkholes and started her very own engineering firm. She was inspired by her father's work. I got to see my father in those moments of of reassuring people when he didn't really know for sure but also trying to educate people and um and share that wealth of knowledge. Now retired, Layla holds lecture series for UCF students and funds scholarships to inspire others to continue her family's work and legacy. It's a people, it is a people business because ultimately you're solving a problem that is going to help people. In Winter Park, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.